Hello and welcome to Celestron's YouTube channel. I'm Dave Farina from CosmosSafari.com. In just a few months, stargazers will have the opportunity to witness a rare celestial event, an annular eclipse of the sun. I'm excited to share with you everything you need to know about this phenomenon and why it's essential to protect your eyes with ISO compliant solar glasses like Celestron's Eclipse Smart product line, how to capture amazing photos and videos of the event, and my top 10 solar astrophotography tips. What is the science behind an annular eclipse? An annular eclipse occurs when the moon passes between the Earth and the sun, but doesn't completely cover the sun, leaving a ring of light around the moon's darkened center. This happens because the moon's orbit is not perfectly circular, so its distance from the Earth varies during its orbit. When the moon is at its farthest point from the Earth, it appears smaller in the sky, causing the sun's visible surface, the photosphere, to peek through and create a ring of light around the moon's darkened center. This differs from the total solar eclipse, where the moon completely covers the sun and the sky darkens. Annular eclipses occur about twice yearly, but are not visible from everywhere on Earth. Why is the 2023 annular eclipse important, and how do I prepare? The 2023 annular eclipse is significant because it will be visible across several countries, including the United States, Mexico, Honduras, Nicaragua, Panama, Colombia, and Brazil. The eclipse will occur on October 14, 2023, and will put on a show for millions of people. When viewed from the path of annularity, the event will include a partial eclipse for approximately one hour and 15 minutes, followed by four to five minutes of annularity, and then after the annularity, viewers will experience another one hour and 15 minutes of partial eclipse. It is critical to be on the line of annularity to experience the eclipse to its fullest. Consider purchasing one of Celestron's Eclipse Smart Observing Kits to get the complete solar eclipse viewing guide and the total and annular eclipse map to determine the best and most accessible locations to get on the line of annularity from your site. And if you can't reach the path of annularity, don't worry. Partial eclipses are visible throughout North, Central, and South America. And you can still watch annularity online. Many organizations will stream live coverage of the event so that you may enjoy the spectacular event from the comfort of your own home. Eclipses have played a significant role in human history and have various interpretations across different cultures. In some ancient societies, eclipses were seen as omens or warnings from the gods. Modern science has resolved these issues of the supernatural, but one thing is for sure. By participating in this event, you will stand with our ancestors in awe as you witness the beauty and power of our solar system. What's the importance of ISO compliant solar glasses and filters? First, let's talk about safety. Watching the eclipse directly without proper protection can cause permanent eye damage. So it's essential to use ISO compliant solar glasses like those produced by Celestron's Eclipse Smart product line. I've been an amateur astronomer for years, and I can tell you from experience, eye protection is not something that you want to take lightly. ISO compliant solar glasses and filters, like those produced by Celestron's Eclipse Smart Solar Safe products, are especially designed to filter out harmful UV and infrared rays, ensuring your eyes are protected during the eclipse. Ordinary sunglasses or homemade filters are unsafe as they don't provide sufficient protection against the sun's intense light. Using ISO compliant solar glasses and filters is the only safe way to view an eclipse and protect your eyes and equipment from permanent damage. What are the Eclipse Smart Solar Safe products? In addition to solar filters, Celestron's Eclipse Smart product line features a variety of tools and resources to help make sure that you make the most of the 2023 annular eclipse. Paper solar eclipse glasses are the most budget-friendly option and come in various kits. If you plan to attend and watch the entire eclipse event, the Eclipse Smart Premium solar glasses provide a comfortable and stylish way to look cool and stay safe while viewing the sun. The Eclipse Smart 2X Power Viewers are another great tool for getting a closer look at the eclipse. They allow you to see more detail and get a better view of the ring of fire effect. Celestron also has multiple Eclipse Smart binocular options available 
from the highly portable grab and go 10 by 25 roof binoculars to the extremely powerful 20 by 50 Poro binocular. The Eclipse Smart 50 millimeter travel telescope is an excellent budget friendly option for those that are interested in viewing the Eclipse up close and personal. It's lightweight, portable, easy to set up, and it makes for the perfect travel telescope. Do you already have a telescope that you use at night? Or do you want to buy a telescope that is capable of doing both nighttime and solar observations? Celestron has a wide range of eclipse filters that fit directly over the main optics of your Celestron telescope to provide you with the best of both worlds. How to capture photos and videos of the eclipse. If you're interested in astrophotography, the 2023 annular eclipse is an excellent opportunity to capture some amazing images. Capturing photos and videos of the annular eclipse can be a challenging but rewarding experience. You can set up a telescope and camera to capture the ring of fire or take a wide angle shot of the landscape as the light changes during the eclipse. In many ways, the 2023 annular eclipse could be a great way to prepare for the April 8th, 2024 total solar eclipse, the undisputed main event. Here are my top 10 tips for doing solar astrophotography safely and effectively. Number one, most importantly, ISO compliant solar filters like Celestron's Eclipse Smart product line must be used to protect your eyes and cameras throughout the entire eclipse, including annularity. Number two, keep your options open and stay mobile. Determine multiple locations along the line of annularity that are at least 500 miles apart and keep an eye on the weather. 48 hours before the eclipse, determine which of these sites has the highest possibility for clear skies. Number three, consider using a tripod, tracking mount, or other stabilizing equipment to keep your camera steady. Number four, use a telephoto lens or telescope with a focal length of up to 600 millimeters to get a closer view of the eclipse and to create a more dramatic effect. Number five, use a remote shutter release or self timer to reduce the camera shake and to capture a sharper image. Number six, experiment with different exposure times to get the right balance of both brightness and detail. Number seven, practice before eclipse day. Solar astronomy is very different from traditional photography and astrophotography. Number eight, experiment with different camera settings to get the best results. For example, try adjusting your shutter speed or aperture. Number nine, use post-processing software like Adobe Photoshop or Lightroom to enhance your images and highlight more detail. And finally, number 10, share your photos and videos with us by tagging us on social media and using the hashtag EclipseSmart. So there you have it, the science behind the 2023 annular eclipse of the sun and why it's important to use ISO compliant solar glasses and filters like those produced by Celestron's EclipseSmart product line. We hope that you found this information helpful and informative and have learned something new about the 2023 annular eclipse of the sun. I wish you clear skies on eclipse day and hope that you may witness this rare celestial event safely and enjoyably. That's all for today's video. Thanks for watching and remember to subscribe to this channel for more information and content. And remember to check out my website, cosmosafari.com for more information and resources on astronomy and astrophotography. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comments section below. I'm Dave Farina, and on behalf of Celestron, keep looking up.